Hello my dear listeners my name is Kishor Ganesh and in this episode of the Vocal About Visuals podcast I'll be reviewing the brand new movie from the director Conan franchise Black Iron Submarine starring Minami Takayama as the titular director Conan aka Edogawa Conan Megumi Hayashibara as Haibara Ai Rikia Koyama as Mori Kogoro and Yuki Toshihori as Jin among others it is written by Takeharu Sakurai and is directed by Yuzuru Tachikawa director Conan the character was of course created by Gosho Ayama Before I begin talking about the contents of the movie let me just register the real life circumstances concerning this film Black and Submarine is the first Detective Conan movie to get a theatrical release in India and I as a Conan fan I'm loving every bit of it If you follow me on Instagram or are subscribed on YouTube you would have seen my blog on me getting to the IMAX screen to watch this movie and I did that honestly because I got very very excited on the prospect of seeing this film in a movie theater in India I love anime in general but I think Conan is a personal favorite of mine and I'm here for this and every other Conan movie going forward Now coming to the contents of Black and Submarine This is the 26th movie from the Conan stable and it has most of the prominent characters getting featured even if the plot is centered around Haibara. Haibara's life is under threat from the black organization thanks to a new piece of tech that threatens to expose her real identity to the really evil members of the organization and it falls on Conan and his friends and I mean his adult or almost adult friends to stop that from happening. Of course at this point of time Haibara's secret being hidden is as solid as the arctic ice and by that i mean it is not solid at all nearly all the prominent members of the black organization know her identity one way or the other but like i mentioned earlier the quote truly evil ones end quote wink wink don't yet and that's all that matters this movie's another exercise in maintaining this status quo But the variety in this film is brought upon by the fact that a large portion of this film happens on a floating shall we say technologically advanced office and a submarine. I deliberately am not mentioning any details here because I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. Now, coming to the review portion of the pod, I have to say that the black and submarine is in a word middling. I've used this word for other Conan films in the past too. So this is not an aberration for the franchise, but that still doesn't mean that I am not mildly disappointed. This film had a great emotional core that it could and should have made better use of, which is the jeopardy to Haibara's life. In fact, in the short promo kind of thing that the creators produced at the beginning of every year, Haibara's character speaks directly to the audience, stating that this year is going to be her year. Now, this can be interpreted either as the year Haibara gets completely safe and satisfied with her life or is written to her doom. but before that she does some epic things and then leaves with the bang now haibara is a fan favorite ever since her launch and this jeopardy is ripe for the audience to get really invested in both in the anime and in the movies i was primed and ready with the waterworks for both kinds of outcomes and i should think so were a lot of the fans and this is why i feel this movie being average is a letdown because emotionally it didn't draw out the waterworks now again i'm not going to say what is going to happen in the film so watch it for yourself to see what happens to the character both the director and the writer have played it safe in this film the writer because the story remains largely flat throughout the run time and the director because the staging of the action set pieces which in previous conan films have blown my mind is pretty tame here I have seen some flat writing getting saved by the action but here both the aspects are at or below par. The antagonists are the main saving grace of this film but after a while even they kind of start pulling their punches. The cameos which are generally a lot of fun are good but not great and their contribution to the story happens in a very convenient fashion. 
now the scale of the movie is impressive it is huge it is very akin to the mission impossible or james bond movies and the franchise reserves this huge scale for films owing to the cinematic nature of the scale and the theatrical release that the films are going to get when compared to the anime which opts for most of the things happening within beka city conan's hometown and with this scale again a lot more could be done but unfortunately the scale or the canvas as a metaphor is huge but the events or the picture is quite small scale there was this weird disconnect which one would see if one were to follow my metaphor and see a small picture on a huge canvas with a ton of white space surrounding the picture one aspect of the movie that was quite strong though was the showcase of the bonds that exist between these characters and how they are always there for a character like hybera who at this point of time is all alone in the world when hybera is in trouble you better believe that the entire conan clan will bring the heat to your door and you better be prepared for it and what can be more apt than that especially in the context of a shonen anime if the makers focused a bit more on this aspect and built a stronger story around this then movie 26 could surely have been a strong addition to the franchise as opposed to being a middling and a somewhat forgetful film on the whole if you are a conan fan you will definitely end up watching black and submarine and most likely will not have too many complaints with it but if you are a regular movie goer or even a fan with a significant amount of expectations then this film is going to leave you a bit disappointed as a final word i would encourage all the konan kun fans of india to head to the theaters and check this movie out because it is going to be a fair while till you get to see it anywhere else once again My name is Kishore Ganesh. This is the Vocal About Visuals podcast and thank you my dear listeners for your time and for listening. Please do give this podcast a follow on your preferred podcast platforms and on YouTube. Also, if you're following my podcast on any podcast platform, please do consider leaving a 5-star review if you indeed like my content. And finally, you can follow me on my socials on Instagram, Twitter, and threads at podcast plural